If you own a 3D printer, you probably already know the pain of having to hear your printer turn into high gear every single time you want to send something to print, whether it being the PSU fan, the hot end fan, the stock motherboard that comes in with your stock Ender 3 Pro or whatever printer you might have. This printer is really loud, which is why tons of users turn to modifying their printer completely in order to not only make their printer as efficient as possible, but as well as to adjust the noise levels. But this leaves us with a very big question. Why are 3D printers so loud and what exactly can you do to change that? Okay, so if you've owned a 3D printer for quite some time, you already know exactly how loud these machines can get. Simply turning on your printer turns on the internal, the external, and the PSU fans to actually start running. The kicker to this is that if you have a completely stock Ender 3, the stock motherboard that comes with that Ender 3 is very loud and loud enough to keep you up all night long. Now, to be fair, there are printers that market themselves as quiet or that come with an upgraded motherboard to reduce the noise but to be completely honest, the fans on these printers can be just as equally as loud, especially if you have this machine bedside or somewhere in the same room as you. So you might be asking, why doesn't Creality or any other 3D printer manufacturer design or create some sort of ultra silent or noise reduced printer that not only prints out great results, but delivers those results at a lower noise level. For example, my Ender 3 Pro has been completely modified with silent fans, a silent PSU fan, and even has an upgraded motherboard so that while in operation, it produces little to no noise. Of course, some caveats to this is that I had to purchase these additional parts and it required me to spend additional money on top of actually having to purchase the printer itself. In addition, I am pretty sure that there are many people that are willing to pay a premium for a printer that can deliver exceptional prints while well, having that noise level reduced. So if you wanna send overnight prints or prints that take longer than eight to 10 to 24 to 48 hours or even longer, then you can do that without having to hear your printer going on for endless amount of time. Of course, this sounds easier said than done. And I might have a few theories as to why companies have not done this just yet. The first thing is having to provide silent fans that provide the same, if not better airflow compared to the stock Ender 3 fan. For example, the fans I have installed on my Ender 3 don't have the same amount of airflow compared to the stock Ender 3 Pro. Having inadequate airflow could lead to possible complications if not addressed with the right maintenance or care. Now, I am a bit biased here as I have Noctura fans installed on my printer, but never had complications with my prints or printer at all. In fact, my printer has gotten way better with less noise. But of course, there are a select group of people who do not recommend installing these fans as insulation to the using these fans could cause possible issues later on down the line. I already knew this well before installing this, but the reduced airflow didn't really affect my prints all too much, nor did it cause any sort of hazard or any clog on my hot end. For reference, if we were to compare the stock Ender 3 fans versus the Noctura fans I have installed on my printer, you can see that they are very much different in terms of noise, voltage, and efficiency compared to the actual stock fans. The second thing would be having the cost of using higher quality or better equipment to install these quieter fans. These are all just theories, but let's just say for example, if Creality or the Ender 3 specifically, their stock fan costs $3, while to use some sort of upgraded silent fan costs them $6. Now imagine the thousands to all the capital they would have to spend in order to make a printer that's much more silent. It's very likely that that additional cost would be passed on to the consumer. One example being is the price difference between a stock Ender 3 Pro, like a completely stock Ender 3, versus an Ender 3 with an upgraded silent motherboard. The difference being quite significant in the cost of the printer, but of course, if you are in the market to purchase your first printer, you very likely would not actually know what this means and most people would just turn to purchasing the least expensive. That's what I did. But of course, I do feel as if having noise levels at an adequate level or at a low level is kind of user preference as if you plan to print in the same room or you plan to print somewhere nearby you, then of course this actually matters to you. But if you have some sort of select room where you can put your printer or somewhere else where you place it that doesn't actually affect you while it's printing, maybe like a basement or in a garage or something like that, then this probably wouldn't even make sense to upgrade the, the silent fans or reduce the noise levels. 
Now, the third theory could be due to the installation of the parts itself. For example, in order to install the fans that I have on my Ender 3 Pro, I had to purchase a buck converter to decrease the voltage from 24 volts down to 12 volts in order to properly power the fan itself. Since the Noctura fan I have installed is actually powered via 12 volts and it's not recommended you should go higher than that. This of course can lead to many complications and additional issues which will require an entire restructure in order to provide proper power to all the components if they decide to have some sort of lower voltage fans installed on their printer. Now keep in mind, when you have higher voltage powering these fans, that means your fans will speed up more and very likely produce much more noise, which defeats the purpose of having a silent fan. But of course, I'm not an expert, nor do I work for these companies. These are just my theories as to why they have not done something like this just yet. I've seen many parts in many different printers, all with marketing hype kind of promoting the silent motherboard or promoting these small minor upgrades, which may not actually mean so much to the user, but unless you're an enthusiast or have many 3D printers, then most of the time you'll end up just doing the modifications yourself anyway. And if you're someone that is constantly printing a lot of the time or most of the time, then very likely noise level is going to be a big thing for you. But this still leaves us with a very big question. If companies are not willing to do this, can you actually do this yourself? Well, the answer is yes, you absolutely can. For example, my Ender 3 Pro that I have right here has been modified to the point where it is completely silent throughout the entire printing process. Now, of course, the fans do turn on and you do rev on just a little bit. This is more specifically when the hot end is turning on or heating up, but I modified it enough to the point where when it's actually printing, it is dead silent. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you guys my Ender 3 Pro, exactly how silent it is and exactly how much I spent on this printer in order to modify it in order to make it as silent as possible. Since I actually have this printer right here in my room, I actually care about the noise levels since it's actually fairly close to my bed and more so I don't wanna be hearing this while it's in operation. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly what I did, the total cost and exactly how loud it can really get but of course in addition lastly if you guys do decide to upgrade your printer whether it being the fans the PSU the stock motherboard uh, I would recommend you guys do it at your own discretion with tons of research prior to doing it that way you guys can go in with the best knowledge and the best capable skills in order to install these parts onto your printer with that said let's take a look at my printer okay guys so here is a quick overview of my Ender 3 Pro I'm going to go over some of the modifications that I've done to my printer. And in addition, I will be showing you guys the grand total of the cost to actually purchase all of these parts. And lastly, I'll make sure to show you guys some brief examples of my printer in action. So that way you guys can see exactly how loud uh, this machine can actually get. So one of the first modifications I made to this machine, and I would highly recommend you starting here, is upgrading the stock motherboard to a completely silent motherboard. Now what this is supposed to do is reduce the noise level or the amount of noise the motherboard makes during operation. This is one of the more straightforward upgrades as this is one of the easiest pieces to install and actually retails for about 45 to 50 US dollars. The second modification I made was actually upgrading the PSU fans to a silent fan. Now the reason for this is because the PSU fan actually has one of the largest and the biggest fans out of the entire machine. This fan will occasionally kick on when the printer is in operation and it is essentially there to keep the internal circuits cool uh, for the PSU part. Now I changed the stock fan to an Actura fan and I 3D printed a part uh, in which the fan is actually held outside of the PSU unit instead of inside. But ideally what I wanted was this piece to be as virtually silent as possible as pretty loud and I was kind of getting irritated about how much noise it made. The third and fourth piece I changed was the printer's hot end fan and as well as the internal fan for the silent motherboard. Now these two fans are grouped together and the reason for that is because they are the same size fans and they have virtually the same specs. And you can actually purchase these fans for about 15 US dollars. So you'll actually need to purchase two of these fans and that'll be a 
total for about 30 US dollars. Now the fifth or the last two pieces required to make this project work, especially if you want to purchase the hot end and change the internal part, is actually having a buck converter and wiring to adjust the voltage. Now the buck converter acts as a bridge in which it limits the voltage of the fans or limits the amount of voltage that is passed through since your Noctura fans are actually 12 volts and the printer actually uses 24 volts. Now you do not want to have 24 volts powering your Noctua fans as it can damage and cause some major issues over time if you leave this unchecked. The grand total for the buck converter and the wiring came to about 20 US dollars. These are separate products but they are required to properly install these fans. Now I'm going to briefly show you guys some examples of my printer while it's in operation. Okay, so overall, the grand total to purchase these parts come to around $115, give or take. Now keep in mind, you will have to install these parts and additionally, you can purchase these parts on Amazon. I'll leave all the links down below in the description. Keep in mind as well is that Amazon does offer some sort of discounts or some, uh, I guess, flash deals in order to purchase these parts at a much lower rate or price. So if you guys wanna monitor that, by all means you can save some money but of course um i believe these parts are fairly cheap they don't really cost too much and what the price might come out for you will be totally different from what you see on your screen so just keep that in mind okay guys so that pretty much wraps it up i pretty much broke down my printer exactly how loud it can be and what i've done to install these pieces now of course this is not an installation video nor is it about exactly how to do it there are many YouTube tutorials on how to install specific parts onto your 3D printer and I would highly recommend taking a look at that if you really care about the noise levels on your printer. Of course, if you don't really care about that stuff or you rather not touch it or you're too scared to touch your printer, then just don't go ahead and do it. Of course, first of all, when I was uh, first getting started with modifying my printer, I was absolutely afraid of messing anything up or messing with the components or thinking that things were too fragile to move around or anything like that. But as you kind of get some experience and as time goes by, you begin to realize that this printer is actually much more simple than you might think. And more so once you have that experience, it makes it easy and easier and it gives you more confidence to install uh, difficult pieces such as these fans and as well as changing the wiring and as well as modifying it so you can have the right modifications on your printer to deliver the results that you want for your prints. So with that said, I hope you guys had enjoyed this video. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. I'll also leave all the links of all the things that I purchased from my printer. Of course, it's not mandatory. You should do it at your own discretion and there are many videos online that show you how to do it. If you guys want to see exactly how I did it, uh, or you want to see a tutorial on exactly how to do it step by step Just let me know in the comment section down below that way I can see whether or not you guys want to see something like that as it's a very intricate process to completely change certain parts of your printer But I think it's absolutely rewarding especially with the results that you see from your prints and from your printer itself So with that said, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace